everybody, this is Dan again, and today I have something cool to show you. It's another program similar to the Summon Command Creator, but this time it's a Firework Creator. So if you've tried to make fireworks with commands before, you probably know that it's kind of difficult, and I've been getting some requests to create something like this. So that's what I've done. So it's pretty simple to use. Um, I'm just going to show a few examples and tell you what everything does. So first there is the lifetime, which is how long your firework entity will remain an entity before it explodes. The life tag, this is, I'm not really sure what this is for, but I know that it's if it's set to 1, the firework won't make the whistle sound when it launches, so you can kind of disable the whistle sound if you don't want that. The flight is for if your firework is an item and it will randomly create this lifetime tag depending on what this is. So. Here we have all of the different shapes you can make. So there's the small ball, large ball, star, creeper face, and burst. Then you can do flicker and trail. And here we have the colors. So this would be this base color is what your normal color of the firework is. This is the color it starts off with when it explodes. The fade color is what it will fade into from this color. So, if um, here, we'll do an example. I'm just going to keep everything the same, except I'll put this on to show you that it won't make any sound. Um, we're going to do a star with a trail. So we want it to be white and fade to black. So if we do this and we press add, that will add this fade color to the list of fade colors because you can have multiple fade colors which I'll show later. So if we just press create summon command or create firework commands, we have the give command here which will give you the firework item and the summon which will summon it. So I'm going to take the summon command and I'll show you what this will do. Okay, so once you copy your command from the text box you can just paste it into a command block like that and now we can see it makes that white fade to black star and as you might be able to hear it doesn't play the little whistle sound that normal fireworks play like that it just plays the little pop sound at the end so now I'll show you a few other things you can do with this so we'll go back to the program and show you those. Okay, so what you can do also is, as you saw, to do the fade color, you need to press add to add it to the list of fade colors. So if we wanted this to fade, well if we press reset, it will reset the list of fade colors. So for the base color we have white, which is just two, 255 for all of them and say we want to fade to red we would do this so now when we press it you can see this this color here is white and this is red so I'll copy this and show you well actually no after the red we'll have it fade to green so we'll add that then we'll have it fade to blue so we'll press add for all those and as you can see it makes a list of them like that so we copy this and I'll show you what this does okay so we're just going to paste this into the command block like that and we press this and you can see it fades into all those colors that we set the blue, green, and red so yep that's how you can make different fade colors and now I'm going to show you another feature of the program right now Okay, so what you can do also is, if we wanted to do that star one, 
and we want it to have a large ball like this and we want this to be I don't know this color um, if we do that and we press combine explosions it will take whatever you have in these text boxes and it will combine it with what you have here so if you don't know you can you can do that with fireworks you can put them together okay so we're just going to paste and launch it and you can see it does the little cyan um, firework as well as the star one that we had before also with this program you can create give commands as you can probably can tell so this flight tag has to do with the give command um, whatever you put in it will um, once you right click the firework it will launch um, it will take this flight thing this tag you have here and it will do something to calculate the lifetime so if it was four it would have a long lifetime if it was zero it would have a short lifetime so I'm just going to show you how you can do this okay so we just put that in and we do give and it's, as you see it has a really long lifetime because I set the flight to a very long time which is four normally it's one two or three um, as you can see flight duration four also I'll show you something cool you can do as well if you take this and you change flight to negative three it will instantly explode like this so that's um, pretty cool if you want to make like little smoke grenades or something like that okay now I'll show you just an example of something you can make so if we did burst with trail and say we wanted it to be um, Christmas colors we could do this and have it fade to red by making that we add the red color now we want it to fade to green so we'll do that and add the green color and now when we create it it should have all of those it should have the white color the red color and the green color when it explodes okay so we just put that in there press the button and we have Christmas firework so um, yeah you can pretty much make any kind of firework you want you can put multiple fireworks together also um, uh, kind of like in the summon command creator you might have some trouble downloading it because of like antivirus programs um, saying that it's dangerous or something but if you get past that hopefully you guys can enjoy using the program because I know it can be kind of difficult to get by all that virus nonsense and hopefully you guys can make use of this program uh, unless you're a Mac user then you can't make use of this program because it won't work on Mac sorry about that but there's nothing I can really do about it unless I learned how to make programs a different way but the way that I do it only works for Windows and I don't even think it works for Windows XP so yeah sorry but I think most people use Windows anyway um, yeah so thank you guys for watching hopefully you find it useful and I'll see you next time